The Bay Diggers were in Greeley facing the University Bulldogs with two down in the second inning. Justin Burns came up with an RBI single scoring C.J. Kukas and Brush led 1-0 but University would deadlock the game at 1 in the bottom half of the second inning. Andrew Seberg, the University right-handed starting pitcher, then got wild in the third inning walking four of the first six Bay Diggers. It was all preceded by an error and the Bay Diggers grabbed a 3-1 lead. In fact, the score was 5-1 when Brush was looking for more against reliever Ryan Freemeyer. Cranston only 90 feet away. The Bee Diggers with four runs in the top of the third. The lefty, Ryan Freemeyer, kicks and fires. Slow curve is swung on and a base hit into center field by Justin Burns. Cranston steps on home plate. Burns with the RBI single, his second hit of the game. And Brush with a five-run third inning lead, 6-1. to one. That was Burns' second RBI single of the game as the Bee Diggers went up 6-1. to one. Then in the top of the fourth inning, Roy Grauberger walked to lead off the inning. Grauberger then stole second base. And Arturo Maltos, the Bee Diggers' starting pitcher, was the next hitter. And the pitch swung on and lined into right field. And that changed up for a base hit. Grauberger is around third, though, sending him home. Palmer's relay to the plate is going to be late. Off the catcher's mask, headed up the first base side. Around second is Maltos. He's going for third. And on the RBI base hit from Maltos, the Bee Diggers now lead 7-1. to one. Sam Guzman, Kyle Lynch, and Derek Lynch would all get base hits for the Bee Diggers as four consecutive Bee Diggers came up with base knocks. Later on in the inning, the Bee Diggers were up 10-1 to 1 with the bases loaded and two down. And if a nine-run deficit wasn't bad enough for University, it would actually get worse. And the 1-1. And he swings and pops it up very high towards center field. Harris Dodds tries to locate it. Coming in, and he drops the ball. Two runs are scoring. Here comes a third. Grauberger's going to step on home plate. And 14-1 to 1 now the score for the Bee Diggers on what amounts to a two-base error and a three-run error by the center fielder, Harris Stotts. In that fourth inning, the Bee Diggers ended up with eight runs on only four hits as University committed two errors, and that last one rather costly. The Bee Diggers won the game 14-1 to over University, which fell to 2-2 two and two in Patriot League play and 4-4 four and four overall. The Bee Diggers improved to 6-5 and five overall and 4-1 and one in Patriot League competition. And Maltos went the distance going those five innings, striking out eight and allowing no hits this coming one week after Maltos tossed a one-hitter in a 3 to nothing seven-inning victory over the Valley Vikings.